my lab is focused on understanding how the mammalian forebrain develops. In particular, we're studying uh, embryonic neural stem cells, which are a dividing population of cells that give rise to the entire brain. But very early on in embryonic development, those cells um, are a fairly small group, and they have to divide and expand. And then after that expansion occurs, they have to begin to generate the neurons and glia, which are the cell types that make up the brain. Neurons transmit the electrical signals, and glia provides support for those neurons in terms of nutrient support uh, and also some other levels of functional support. Understanding how embryonic neural stem cells divide um, is likely to have direct relevance to understanding how brain tumors form because it's thought, for example, that, the, uh, that brain tumors themselves have stem cell-like properties where some of the cells are more stem cell-like and other cells are not stem cells but are still dividing progenitors. Um, so if we can understand how embryonic neural stem cells are regulated, it's possible and perhaps probable that we'll learn more about how brain tumors form and how brain tumors grow. Uh, this is particularly true for pediatric brain tumors, which are more likely to be caused by developmental defects than they are by, say, environmental insults. We should be able to eventually design rational uh, methodologies for getting them to differentiate into specific cell types of interest to us. So if we wanted to generate specific cell types for restorative cellular therapies in the brain, it would be very helpful if we knew how to take embryonic neural stem cells and get them through a variety of molecular uh, manipulations to differentiate down those paths. So then we could have a source of cells which we could transplant back into a brain hopefully for the uh, purpose of restoring function that's been lost from damage or degeneration.